So that's fireweed seed. And fireweed seed looks like this. And this. There it goes. So there's the fireweed seed floating off the fireweed, which is down here. And when the fireweed seed starts floating around like that, that's usually my cue to uh, harvest the last of this year's honey and and then leave the rest for the bees. Usually by this point I, I've been able to smell goldenrod that looks like this. Uh, the, the, oh, there we go. Come on, focus, there it is. Usually by this time of the year I've been smelling goldenrod nectar wafting from my beehives for the past two or three weeks and this year it's only happened very recently like maybe in the past 10 days and it's not strong yet um, the goldenrod just hasn't peaked yet and it usually peaks around uh, probably like the middle of uh, of August and this year it, it hasn't it's uh, it's very late and even then it's not coming in strong so I've decided I'm not going to use the fireweed seeds floating in the air like this as my cue to harvest the last of my honey. I still have a little bit of uh, fireweed right here. Right now it's just everything's been off this year. We had a very cold weird wet spring then extreme heat and then cold again and then sort of normal temperatures and everything has been blooming in and out of the normal cycles and it just uh, uh, I don't know if the bees know what to make of it and I have bees in some areas that are, are just just taller than me making so much honey and others like in St. John's that weren't making much honey even though they're full of bees uh, and brood um, they just weren't building up like I expected them to and uh, the ones here in Flat Rock are doing okay they're doing okay but not again not great but it's, it's been a really f funny year and there goes the seeds again.